Off a dirt road in the Coronado Forest, south of Safford, lies a 10-acre orchard full of peach and apple trees. We're located at 5,000 foot and we're kind of in a canyon. And so you get the thermals, you get the air moving down the mountain and back up the mountain. So you get the warm days and the cool nights and it makes the fruit crisper, more sugar too. This is Angle Orchard, located on Mount Graham. It's owner Paul Larson's family legacy. It's our centennial, it's 100 years. It's in the same family. Well, it started in 1922 by my grandfather, Andrew Preston Angle. My father worked in a mine over at Dos Cabezas by Wilcox. He came up with the money to buy the first trees. Paul's uncle Eldon owned and ran the orchard for 25 years. This orchard represents a lot of hard work. When my grandfather started, he had no mechanization at all. I think he had the mule and that was about it. And a lot of big boulders and uh, native trees and whatnot had to be cleared. And it was still pretty tough when I took it uh, physically. The angles are tough, so they don't like to give up. <laughs> so that's, that's the reason this orchard's still here. Um, no doubt, I mean, you, you look at the terrain, it's rocky, it's rough, and you know, it's, it's not for wimps. Come late summer and early fall, it's time for celebrating the literal fruits of their labor. It's apple picking season. You just come in and you grab a bucket or you bring your own tote or bag and decide which fruit you wanna go pick and you go pick it. So the orchard's about a quarter mile long, so it's mostly downhill. And then if you get too many apples in your bag or your bucket, we'll bring it up for you. Our apple season starts off in August with the gala. You know, like mid-August, they start ripening up. And we also have the L-Star apple, which is a great pie apple. It's one of the best pie apples out there. And then we transition into the Red Delicious, Golden Delicious, and then also the Arkansas Black. We don't have a lot of Arkansas Black. Later in the season, when you get into later September, October, we move into the Fuji, Blushing Golden, Wine Sap. Hannah Gardner grew up in Safford, and she's been coming to Angle Orchard to pick apples her entire life. It's a really, really great tradition. We love this mountain, and we love the, the tradition of the orchard, and it's just a lot of really great memories that we've made, and so we just we love to keep it going. She now lives in Tucson, but makes the two-plus hour drive to carry on her own family tradition. So nostalgic. I, I really do love that, um, that I get to share all the joy of picking apples that I had as a child with my children. This trip, Hand admits she may have gotten a little carried away. We usually get one to 200 pounds per family. I think this year we were probably pushing three or 400. While apples may be the core of the business, there are a few other items for sale. So we have a little cell barn where you come in, we've got our scale where we weigh that fruit and then we put it in a box. You know, we have a little fridge in there. We do water, you know, pies and jams and different things like that. And then we have shirts and just different garb in there that you can buy. And if you don't want to pick your own apples, you can stop in and buy ones all ready to go. I think it's really important to the community as well because we love supporting local and supporting each other. And so we're a close-knit community overall, and the orchard has been a real, a real backbone of that tradition. I have a lot of brothers and sisters and cousins that help out too, so if it wasn't for them, it would be super tough for me to manage this right here. So I have a lot of behind-the-scenes help that makes it possible. Be here for another 100 years, no problem. <laughs>